This is KBOI 2 News This Morning. 612, it's the trivia game that's quickly gaining traction. HQ Trivia launched just five months ago, and now one single game often attracts more than a million players. Lauren Podestia takes us behind the scenes to meet the team behind the live mobile game sweeping the nation. That's the countdown to HQ Trivia, heard every weekday at 3 and 9 p.m. Eastern. Contestants just need a smartphone to play. These are not Googleable answers. Questions have to be answered in 10 seconds or less. Winners who get through all 12 levels split a cash prize. Russ Yusupov is HQ Trivia's co-founder and CEO. Folks get on their phones to play, but they start interacting with each other. That's everything we could have hoped for in making a mobile game. It's so popular, people are playing at work, or in Ethan Muchnick's case, during math class. My teacher found out about it, like she caught on, and now she made a rule like no going out of class after 3 o'clock. You gotta hike up your smarty pants, strap on your thinking caps. Host Scott Rogowski is a big draw. You are so quick, you come up with so many jokes. Is that on the fly, or is that a little bit premeditated? I write them on, my, on the palm of my hand. And, and then all, you just sweat them off gone, yeah, during yeah, the game? They're all sweated off. Yeah, no, it's, it's a mix of both. A writing team handles the questions, revising and fact-checking up to the minute the show goes live. Yusupov sees the tune-in or miss-out factor as a big part of HQ's success. Do you think you're going to put Jeopardy out of business? <laughs> We love Jeopardy. I grew up watching Jeopardy, and we hope to build something that also achieves uh, that kind of level of, um, you know, popularity. So will you guys keep playing until you win? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Math class may have to wait, but Ethan could learn something playing HQ Trivia. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And those who frequently play HQ Trivia will tell you the questions get tough pretty quickly. Winners splitting the prize sometimes get just a few bucks, but some have pocketed a few thousand dollars.